Hello all, welcome to NetSet OS. Today in this video we will be discussing lead code number 671, second minimum node in a binary tree. Here let's understand this question in terms of players. Let's say I have teams who are playing the games 5, 4, 2, 3, 6, 1, 8 and 7. Now obviously if I need to take out the winner out of them these two will be having a match these two will be having a match these two will be having a match similarly these two will be having the match and the team winning out of these two will be going to next round and then next round and hence we will be getting the winner here let's put a condition that a person who has the minimum will win here Let's say the team who has the minimum number will win in this game. So if we have a game between 5 and 4, 4 wins. Similarly with 2 and 3, 2 wins. 6 and 1, 1 wins. And between 7 and 8, 7 wins. As like this. Now if there is a game between 4 and 2, being the smaller one, 2 wins. Similarly here among 1 and 7, 1 wins as it is the minimum and between 1 and 2, 1 wins. Now if you can relate this with binary tree, here we have used min heap. So as to calculate the winner team which is 1. Here we have 8 players, right? Or 8 teams. Out of this 8 teams, how many matches were conducted so as to get the winner? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is 7 matches. So we can say if there are n teams, n minus 1 matches will be conducted so as to get the winner. Now, if I want after this winner, the second winner. If I remove this winner team, I need to track where this one is coming in this binary tree that is i need to take out the existence of this winner team so as to get my second winner here i have to calculate second winner team so if i go down the lane this is the position from where it is originating and this was the game out of which one was the winner so what I'll do, I'll update over here and will remove this one. So if I don't have this one, which will be the winner? Obviously 6 as there is just one player, one team over here. So I can simply write 6. Now going one step before, here we have 6 and 7, which is the minimum? 6. So here 1 will be updated to 6. Now out of this 2 and 6, which is the minimum? 2. So the second winner team will be 2. Let's understand this with another example. Here I will be having the numbers in a binary tree. And I need to calculate second minimum number among these binary tree. So for this lead code question, I need not to build this binary tree. I have just told you how it was built over there but 2 is the minimum number so what i'll do i'll track from where it was originating that is i need to take out the path so when i go down this is the location from where this 2 originates here the decision was made that 2 is winner among 2 and 9 so what i'll do i'll remove this so here there is just one number over here. So instead of this 2, 9 will get updated. Now we have 8 and 9 at this point of time. When I need to make decision among 8 and 9, 8 is the winner. Now when I need to make decision among 3 and 8, 3 is the smallest. So 3 will be the winner. That is the thing which we need to perform over here. So let's discuss the strategy for it. 
how we need to do this so here first i need to track the path so for tracking the path i'll take this as root and here i'll calculate its left and right so for 2 left is 3 and right is 2 then i need to check whether this 2 is matching with this 2 or not from where it is coming so here this 2 is coming from right so now my root will become at this point where i'll take out both left and right left is 8 and right is 2 again i need to check this 2 is coming from which location from left or right here it is coming from right so the root will become this one now i need to calculate its left which is 2 and right 9 now here again i need to check this 2 is coming from which location either it will be coming from left or right this time from left so root will become basically it is recursing whichever value it is matching with it will recurse in that direction if it is matching with left it will recurse in the left if the value is matching in the right it will recurse in right now at this point root is 2 now if i check its left i don't have any number in the left neither in left nor in right so i can write none over here perfect now my cursor is on this as it was recursed top to bottom now at this point i need to check if it's left and right are none it will return minus 1 so when it returns my cursor will go at this point so for this point root is 2 for which left is minus 1 this 2 will be updated to minus 1 and right will be as it is so here i got minus 1 and here i already have 9 now i'll make a condition if left is minus 1 you need to return simply the right value so here it will return 9 value to this point so right will be updated to 9 over here whereas left will be same 8 and rest will be the same if both values exist we need to just calculate min of both as we are calculating second minimum number so here out of 8 and 9 we got minimum number as 8 so when it returns from here it will get 8 in the right whereas in the left we already have 3 so minimum of 3 and 8 will be 3 so we got the second minimum number 3 after 2 so this is the strategy now let's build a python program for this so as it is a binary tree question here we'll take node class for which we'll have data and we will take here data as input parameter left by default we'll take as none and right as none so let's start the program here first of all we'll make a condition if root is none it will return minus one and will be not having anything it will return minus one then and there and if it's left and right are none it will return minus one rest left will have its value right will have its value let's understand this with this particular question we have root over here so first of all it's left will be having its value which is 2 right its value 5 here i need to calculate second minimum value as its value roots value is matching with left data so it will recurse in the left direction and this two will become root as it says recurse in the left direction now again it will check if root is none root we have two over here 
Now it will check if its root dot left and root dot right is none. Here we neither have its left nor right. So it will return from here minus 1. So left will be updated to minus 1 and the right we already have 5. So here we will get 5 as second minimum value. Now so as to handle this minus 1 and 5 we have made a condition over here. If left not equal to minus 1 it will return left. If right not equal to minus 1 it will return right. So here right we have 5 whereas in the left we had minus 1. So it will update value to 5 over here. And the other condition if we have the values other than minus 1 it will take out min of left and right. So it was an easy program. I'll give this program in the github link which will be in the description below. So hope you understood this concept. This concept is related to tournamentry. I'll make a separate video on tournamentry later. So stay tuned for my next video. Till then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Bye. Thank you.